President, eight days to assent to the Not Too Young to Run Bill and the Constitutional Amendment Bills right before him. Nigerians are wondering why it is taking the President so long to assent to a Constitutional Amendment Bill, for which those amendments do have implications on the 2019 elections. A lot of young people today who want to run for office in 2019 um, are a bit uncertain with their political future because this bill is yet to be assented to. And it is very, very important that the President um, assents to this bill and other constitutional amendment bill because of the urgency that, that it, it, um, it deserves. We know that INEC has released the timetable for 2019. We are very, very aware that the National Assembly will soon be proceeding on recess. Um, and we know that the party primaries and the politicking already began. Now, this delay is threatening the political aspiration of credible and competent young Nigerians who should be encouraged to participate in the process. And we've come to a conclusion that, or we will, come, we will conclude by May 29th, that if the president does not assent to this, then we'll have no choice but to conclude that this is a deliberate attempt to keep young people out of the political process. And it will be most unfortunate that after the National Assembly and the State House of Assembly have voted yes to not to young children, and the entire nation has come out to endorse and support a not to young to run, that the president will not assent to this. Because in this matter, delay in assenting to not too young to run bill is actually denial of a political right. And the president ought to treat this with the expediency and the urgency that it deserves. There are thousands of young Nigerians who are out there who want to run for office in 2019. But we know that as soon as the political parties commence their primaries in less than 60 or so days, they won't be able to purchase nomination forms because legally they are not qualified to run. And so it makes a, a mockery of the entire constitution review process. There are a lot of resources that have been spent, public funds have been spent on the constitution review process. This delay is antithetical to democratic principles and it will undermine the institutions of democracy that we all have laid down our lives to protect. And so we want to urge the president to ensure that within the next eight days, because this bill was first passed on the 26th of May, 2016, by the House of Representatives. On the 26th of May, 2018, will make it two years, two years of this, um, this journey. And so we only ask the president, if he is indeed the president of the people and the president of young people, that he gives young Nigerians and the entire world a democracy gift. And the only democracy gift young Nigerians want is to assent to the not too young to run bill. We'd also like to use this opportunity to call on the political parties. The Congresses and the party primaries that we have seen so far are mainly, mainly mainly an endorsement of imposition, consensus, and compromise. We know that the state houses of assembly didn't um, pass the independent candidacy amendment. And so these young people who will benefit from this bill will have no choice but to join the 68 registered political parties that we have. And so the actualization of this aspiration or this objective is contingent on how democratic our political parties are. In a situation where you're beginning to have parallel congresses, where you have parallel leadership in political parties, in situations where you're beginning to have violence characterizing uh, party primaries, it is jeopardizing the political aspirations of young people. And so we would use this opportunity to tell the political parties that they must, in the true sense of the word, or in the strictest sense, uphold the principles of 
transparency, accountability, and democracy if the dividends of a democracy that we all aspire will actually come to fruition or come to reality. And that is the position of, of the movement. And we, we will watch until May 29th to see if the president will give Nigerian youths that particular gift. If he doesn't, as a movement, like you know, we will come back to, to Nigerian youth and we come back to the public and we will speak and make our position known. Keep in mind that we've done this before. We did it in 2017 when the National Assembly killed the Not Too Young to Run bill. We took a decisive action and Nigerian youth rose up. We will also take very civil and legal action as well in the event that this bill does not is not assented to in due time by the, by the president. I'd like to ask if my colleagues have any more comments on this and then we can come.